guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a paid partnership with Star Stable, which is a free multiplayer online horse simulation game. And I'm really excited about this sponsorship because I grew up playing all sorts of horse sim games when I was younger. And my favorite ones were always the ones that you actually got to ride around in a world on a horse. And this definitely falls into that. So I'm really excited to share this with you. So first things first, when you go to make your account, you first get to create your character, and there's a lot of different options for the way your character looks as well as their horse. I was most excited about the horse options, so it took me a little bit longer to pick which horse I wanted, but I decided on the bay with the stripe and the stockings because I thought it was the most pretty to me. There's lots of coat colors and marking options for everyone's preferences, though, so you get to have a lot of fun and really pick a horse that you like the best. Star Stable is a really fun, visually engaging game that lets you play multiplayer with other riders in the Star Stable world as you care for your horse and you can do all sorts of cool things like riding throughout the large map and to different places to do different quests as you gain experience. So you can see me here jumping things and I also had a lot of fun doing some races in the first town which is called Moorlands. And yeah, it's really cool. There's a lot of different people that play at the same time. So you ride past all sorts of different people on their horses that are also playing Star Stable and you get to enjoy a horsey experience and do quests with other players and just build your star stable life on horseback so if you guys want to check it out you can look at the link down below in my description where you can get a free week as a star rider but it is free to play and you do not have to pay to be a star rider unless you want to but i would take advantage of that free week so that you can see what it's like to be a star rider and check it out if you see me on there on my horse the blaze and the stockings say hi my name is my last name is potato ball so that's pretty memorable if you see me around wave put it all out in the open no we don't have to control it put it all out in the open if it's only for a moment it's a lifetime of emotion put it all out in the open Pogo out first. I'm gonna do some work with him. He just recently turned three um, and I would have had him going in more work if it weren't for him destroying his knee recently but his knee is actually doing quite well. It's healing really well. It's starting to scab over so it's just the skin that's healing and he's sound on it so he could do some light work so we'll see how he is today and if he's good for the first groundwork portion I might get on him and just have like a light ride, a nice little sit. He is broke, like very green track broke, um, but he hasn't been ridden in like a year or so. Strips. His mane? What has he done to his mane? It's all ridden down. Mm -hmm. Did on his knee. It's starting to scab over, so it's really just the skin that needs to close. But it's shrunk a lot and that really nasty thick skin flap is dying and it'll fall off. Like I could cut it off, but like it's not worth the hassle of upsetting him when it's going to fall off. Wait a bit and then they well, yeah, the vet said to use it as like a skin band-aid if we can. Even though Wiener. he keeps like flipping it up because he likes it more like a roof instead. Yes. A roof? <laughs> oh my god. Little... Body is looking really good. Like he's matured a lot since we got him. That was why I wasn't riding him. And yeah, he's looking good. What's, why is he looking at me like that? This is weird. He doesn't trust you. Oh, go. Like he just wants to go to sleep. Yeah, he like, whatever. doesn't care. Is that your first saddle in a long, long time? And you're well, he's like looking pretty uh, concerned. See, Phoebe. Come here, Phoebe. Let's back up a bit. Good boy. It's because he's my best friend. An important question, Shelby, is could he be any cuter? <laughs> he's so cute. Good boy. Yeah. At least because he hurt his knee on Easter. Oh. So that's like 
a month and a half ago, basically, right? And I don't know how much you were doing right prior to that. So yeah. <laughs> so in terms of ground driving, probably. <laughs> Remember, I don't even know what we ended up having for Easter dinner. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I think we just must have caught noodles or something at the end of the night. It's a long day. What a good boy. No, he's certainly a smart boy, Shelly. Like, he really, really is. You know why he's being so good? Because yesterday, when he had his little birthday hat on, and I forgot to take it off, so he was out in the field for hours with his little birthday cap on. Now listen to me though. It's, it was a thinking cap. His birthday, his birthday hat. Okay, that lighting in this cloudy weather is actually quite cool. Jeepster's watching Poglet. Going to the bigger kid arena now to try some things after his ground driving. Hi Jeepster. Hi buddy. Hi. but nothing else so he's acting like a like a big kid who knows everything and I still say it's because I left his birthday hat on for like hours in the field and didn't notice it made him smarter good boy Wow, I love him. He hasn't even stepped a foot. Good boy, my baby. Good boy, baby man. Oh, so smart. <gasps> He's pretty broad. He's gonna be a big kid, right? Wow, Shelby, I just love him so much. He's so smart and good. Oh, baby. <laughs> Checking things out. Hey, if he's this good, do you think even though my body is very sore, do you think I could sit on him and you could lead me around? Yeah, just let me pot him first. Oh yeah, and I will not right now anyway, I, because I am quite I really stiff. I just wouldn't want to. What a good kid. <laughs> it's actually, you know what? It's astounding to think he's not ever been ridden since he was race trained. <laughs> oh, he's got a great mouth. Good boy. Is he worried about the geese flying over his head? Was it the geese? Oh, it's okay, baby. Because of his teeth, right? Coming out? Yeah. Chewy? What does he see over there that he doesn't like? It's okay, baby. Oh, for crying out loud. And those two are like, this is what he's dealing with on his first ride back. 
<laughs> oh, good grief. Oh, Poglet. You can see it here. Oh, for crying out loud. And what the heck else? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, good boy. Good boy. It's okay, my man. Okay, the baby's rip snorting over on this side now, too, just as a heads up. Here she goes. She's just going. Whoa! And Mama's rolling, and she's ripping around by Mama. Holy zoomies! Jeez! Everybody is going crazy today. She's still going. <laughs> and someone's screaming in the background. Who's screaming? Guild. Uh, looks different. And those yellow flowers too. Yep. Well, they make for a really pretty backdrop. Good boy. Yes. I know it's so scary. Really good. Okay. Oh my boy. Good girl, Phoebe. Shelby, is he for sale? Can I buy him from you? <laughs> yeah. He's already mine. Buy him from me for free. We still haven't signed his papers. So uh oh. He, he mine. He my baby. Oh. He's my little best friend. What a good boy, hey? Yeah. Such a good man. Just a baby man. Yeah. Yeah, he's really, really nice. What a good kid. I'd say this is just superb for the I've first ride back in. What's that? Nuh-uh. So it's May when, so it's, he would be 10, what, good 10 months since he's been with anybody on his back and never with a normal yeah. saddle, right? Yeah, he's never worn a riding saddle. But so would it be, and he didn't do the boot scoot like uh, Percy used to always like to do the boot scoot. Aww. Oh boy. Wow. Yeah, no zoomies, Shelby? Huh? No zoomies for him. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. His, his training was pretty minimal, right? Looks like he wants to. Oh, good boy. <gasps> good boy. Huh? He feels like Good boy. Aww. Look at him not zooming or anything. Good boy. He looks like a lesson pony. Good boy, Pogert. Yeah, a bit less it is after this because of his molars. Yeah. He's spitting them out into the water trough. Good job, Pogert. Yes. Good boy. You can take up a little bit more range just so you have more so right? if he does spook. <laughs> bah, 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 bah. And it's like while you're rubbing his cut too, like he's he's a masochist. Yeah, I could do a slightly smaller ones to that. Yeah. Am I going crazy, Shelby? Where did I put your syrup? I think you might have left them up by the gate. Did I? I swear I brought them back down. Percy's going to untie yourself. Literally going to set himself free. Not underneath the jacket over there? Because the strap, the, oh, the leathers are there, yeah, I think. They're here, they're right here. See, I know yeah, everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, what are you going to do? You're going to bite his hey. bum? Maybe we should not... Bum, bum. biter. Huh? Actually, you know, he's just a bum sniffer, but... Yeah, but I know, he's because he's a noodle. Look at your dumb nose. 
Spooky. Look at your dumb nose. He does not get easily stressed out, this man. Um, hello. Baby boy. Well, especially with how little he's like done recently. Yeah. I think it's that's like, what oh. gets me the most, is that he's basically not done anything. Yeah. He's not very stupid though. Oh my god, Percy's trying to pull the blanket off the thing. Percy! Oh, and he succeeded. Good job, buddy. Apparently saddling him for the second time in the space of an entire year isn't an issue either. Right? Oh, he says, eh. Pooglet! This is like different feeling than yeah. his other stuff because it's a more Good boy. Oh my gosh. Shall we go walking just in case you do decide to be a tip? Yeah, I don't see a hump in his back, but it's always smart. He, he never this is whatever. What ifs? He's behaving like you're tacking up your lesson string pony. Really? Well, he could probably be used for lessons more if he's more broke. I still wouldn't want to take him. What do you think, Pogi? He says, no, I get to just be your horse. But yeah, if we can get him bomb proof, we could do a similar video to what we did for Archie for him just for ships this summer, just to see how much we can throw. Not a sail video. Like, yeah. Just to test how much we can throw at him. Sleepy eye, right? Sleepy eye. He'll actually have issues with it. Ooh. You hate gray horses and you got a gray horse. And I love him so much. I don't hate them, they're just my least favorite color. <laughs> yeah. I don't hate them, I just would never choose them. <laughs> They'd be my very last choice. I think they look very pretty. I just don't they like the pretty, fact that they're like their color. Con seconds. Well, I just don't like the fact that their color constantly changes. And yeah, and yeah, in theory, if I were to pick a color, it wouldn't typically be a gray. I wish they stayed dark. Yeah, when they're dappled and they're darker, and they're just starting to lighten, and they still have all the dapples That's with the contrasting color. Why people pay so much more for them? Because it's like a fleeting enjoyment of yeah. them being dappled. But in that time, I mean, they really do stand out. Yeah. Right. The gray is the Jeep of the horse world. God, he's so he's so stressed. Control. Crazy thoroughbred. <laughs> He's ready for his first ride with a beginner rider immediately. Go, baby boy. He says, I'm just going to have a snooze first, folks, before I go to my stressful stuff. I think that that bit is going to be nice for him, potentially. He's losing these guys in yes, about four alive. more months. Okay, see? Show that little bye-bye tea. What's up, Bobs? And then he's going to get his canines coming in in, like, another six months. You can kind of feel it bumping up where they'll want to come in. Good, Good man. Boy. So you've got him in the trust one. I like that bit too. That would be a, a definitively pogo type thing to do. He's tasting out the bit. Good standing, man. Looks nice. He actually is just a very smart boy. Hi, baby. He's a goofball, but he's smart. If he didn't already have an awesome name, I would totally want him to be Houdini because of how he knows how to like open up everything. Was it Chico who used to go around with his wiener schnitzel out for quite a long time? I was worried that Pogi was going to do that, but he, he kind of got rid of his boy moment and decided to be a little bit more discreet than Chico ever was. Chico would so, walk around with it quite blatantly. I know, and, it, and, and you could trot around it would be going bang, 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 and it didn't seem to bother him. I'm like, what is that? You can tuck it away. Well, she seems like she really cares about us, so he was like probably the most sensitive.
Gone, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But in a way where he was such a tryhard too, oh, right? Like such a lovely boy. Like yeah. Yeah, one of the kindest horses, like just really very sweet. He's a good boy. He's so cute. Yeah, he does, right? He's having fun with it. Oh, is that the mullet mouth one? Yeah. Milo liked it before too. Yeah, he just like too much. Yeah, he played with it a bit much. But if Pogo does, that's totally fine because he's a youngster. Pogo gets a pass. He can because he's a what? A oh, I thought you said a project. I'm like, no, he's not. <laughs> no, he's ours. A toddler. Yes, as Moira Rose would say, he's just in baby. A little baby. Baby. Oh, Pogo, you little baby. Oh, <laughs> Don't be calling my baby a loser. <laughs> oh, wow. He says that was a bit scarier. I think he's quieter in that bit. Oh, bravery. Brightly colored. You can do it. God, he's cute. Go, go, Percy, go. Good boy, Percy. Good boy. It's okay, you don't have to. Good boy. Oh, Poco. Wowie. Look at you. He's actually lazy. Wow. He's a fake storm cat. <laughs> He's a storm kitten. Look at him. He's lovely, Shelby. Yeah, awesome. I'm totally biased, but he's really lovely. He's just got such a great personality and he's such a smart man. He's so smart. He doesn't even like Zoom Zoom. He's so good. Good boy. He says, oof, that's hard work, man. Figuring things out. <laughs> in this in this regard he's looking he's reminding me of Chico where he does not speed up. <gasps> oh so good boy. Oh wow. He is the I love that little white spot on his body. I know, it's gonna be so sad when he grays out completely. Good job. Yes. And then when he halts, just be a little more giving with your hands. Like you weren't pulling, but just actually noticeably soften because then hopefully he'll stand there without any contact. Good boy. There, that was way softer. So I would say, okay, give a little cluck. There we go. Okay, and then you can support him with his, your inside leg around the turns. Just take like a light feel of his mouth. You can bend him around your leg. Good job. There. 
add a little bit more leg around the corners. I know your legs are going to be sore, so good boy. More leg. He's going to stop. Nice inside leg. Lift your inside rein and just try to get him to flex over a little bit. Good boy. And if you push your hands forward when he stretches down like that, he might drop a little lower. You only have to push them forward for like a stride or two and then you can collect again and yeah. Good boy. Gosh, cute. Yeah. Oh wow. Good boy, Pogert. He's just like plotting for you. That's so cute that all of them keep hitting. Yeah. Good job. Yeah.